day everybody this is John Scarborough it's a little bit windy today you're gonna have to forgive me I just wanted to point out some of this uh, grass we got over here that we've been grazing right now um, I had these cows over here a little while back ago um, and then I took them off let the grass kind of recover a little bit well I say recover in the winter time it's not really recovering but it's cleaned off it's not got uh, fresh fresh poop and, and all like that on it so I've kind of had them in a couple other places. Now I've got them back in here. It's a, um, we're in late November right now. So we're grazing longer, farther into the, the fall and winter months than I've ever been able to graze before. Uh, and this so far, this piece of property over here has been the best for it. And this is the one that I did the most experimenting with, uh, with the way I was grazing it. So I'd let them, I'd let them really get that good forage just right off the tops of it keep the seed head off of it is all I was really doing and then I'd take the cows right back off and so the grass has been continually growing more and more and more leaf while never getting to that woody state so it's been working out really good for us so far uh, I think it was last night I ran them back over here and I found uh, the same thing that happened to me before when I had run them over here the cattle just look better on this side of the road Right now with it being uh and now that all the grass has turned into into hay and it's no longer growing grass it's all it's all stockpile essentially over there on that side of the road we got multiple pastures and this side is just one pasture um we, we don't have it cut up in any way but i'm noticing that they're just doing way better over here so we do feed hay we are feeding hay some we're just not feeding it every day like we normally would have to or like everyone else around us is having to um, and it's just because of this right here but the second thing is this all of these berry vines and thistles that everyone hates okay and I I'm one of them because it takes up good forage during the summertime uh, I'm noticing that they are eating the mess out of this stuff right now in the wintertime and <laughs> the crazy thing is they're actually putting on weight with it okay but I've done a little bit of reading, and I've, I've known this about some weeds, but I've done a little bit of reading on these on these specifically. What's going on is the, the sugars in the plant has actually risen up into the leaf, and it's gotten, uh, it's a more palatable forage. So the freezing actually makes it a little bit more tender, and you can see it's actually not brown like a lot of your other stuff. So it's made it a little bit more tender, but also it's brought more sugar up in the plant. So they're actually grazing that in the wintertime. So in the summer, it's not so good. I don't really like it. But in the wintertime, it's not. It's actually proven to be a help to me. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to point, point that out. We have plenty of them out here, that's for sure. More than I'd like to see. Um, but anyway, I wanted to point that out. But also about the forage. I mean, this is the longest we've gone be uh, before. So I'm really excited to see that. So I just figured I'd let y'all keep following along and seeing how this place is going to going to end up being we're going to leave them over here probably longer than i normally would because on the other side of the road we're doing i mean on the other side of the creek on this side of the road it's all the same uh 20 acres we're doing an experiment we're going to be unrolling a lot of hay on that side of the road i mean on that side of the creek excuse me we're going to be unrolling a lot of hay over there and um trying to let that build up in nutrients and we're going to seed it uh, we're seeding it through the hay is what I'm talking about complements of the hay um, So anyway, so they're gonna be here for quite a while But the way we're gonna do it is let them graze this and then on days like we're gonna be really watching our cattle As the cows start to look like that if they look like they're, they're needing a little bit of extra food Or we know it's gonna get really cold that night Then we're gonna go out there and unroll a bale if I were to just come out here every day and give them a bale Give them a bale give them a bale. They're not gonna touch this why because that bale is easy they don't have to go out there and graze it. I mean, it's all right there in front of them. They will eat this. Now, they'll also eat grass that is not nutritious for them, that has no nutrition in it. That's why you've got to watch them. You've got to make sure that rumen stays full every day, okay? So you've got to look on the left side of your cow and make sure that you don't have that triangle. If you got that triangle all sunk in, you know you need, your cows need something else. So watch, make sure that that looks good, make sure that their heads aren't down to the ground they're looking all sad and mopey that means they're not feeling well so this is not just about sticking them out here and just letting them graze and leaving them alone 
you've got to watch them. I, I come out here every single day and check on them. If they seem like they need something, seem like they need a little bit more, I'll give them a bail, you know. And we may find, as the rain comes on, we may find that the grass just completely has no nutrition left. And even though it's here, we have to start just feeding them hay every day. And if that happens, then, then we're fine with that. And a lot of people would tell me that this is waste. Well, to me, this is not waste. This is all carbon right here. This is a carbonous material. When this breaks down, this, comes, this becomes carbon inside your soil. Carbon is what holds moisture in your soil. So it creates, this is what creates topsoil. Topsoil is at 70 to 85% organic matter. So this creates topsoil. And where we're at, we don't have a lot of topsoil. This is what we need to create more topsoil to feed your microorganisms. That helps create more, better food for your cattle. Plus, <clears throat> it feeds your earthworms. Your earthworms actually create a, um, it's a, I mean, it, it's, it's really fertilizer, but it, it's so much more than just fertilizer. But we'll just stick to fertilizer and make it simple. This right here becomes fertilizer. It becomes carbon. It becomes everything you need in your soil. So none of it's wasted. Whatever they don't eat, I'm happy to see out here. Anyway, guys, I wanted to throw that out there. I'm excited to see this. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks.